So in the classroom, we always use three rules, and our three rules are be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. So when you're in the classroom, those rules might mean if you're being respectful, you're listening when someone is speaking and you're waiting and taking turns. Um, you're being respectful when you are kind to your friends. And you're being respectful when you are kind to your teacher. And that's one of our first rules and most important rules. The next one is be responsible. And in the classroom, when we're being responsible, that means that we are prepared and we come to class ready to learn. Um, we try to come to class where we've already had our breakfast and we're ready and um, ready to learn and ready to um, do what's asked of us. We have our um, supplies that we need and we are ready to go. And the last one, be safe. Well, in the classroom, being safe kind of means um, watching out for other people's bodies. In the classroom, we try to talk about how we have a bubble and that we stay inside of our own bubble and we try not to invade or encroach on other people's bubbles. Um, you can think of it as um, space invaders and you don't want you don't want people to invade your space you want your own space and and that's part of being respectful as well um, and being safe means no running in the classroom using our walking feet using our quiet voices so that everybody can be heard um, and this year being safe is going to be we're going to be focusing a lot on being clean making sure our hands are washed that we're not keeping our fingers close to our faces um, that we're using just our supplies and that we're keeping distance um, from our friends so that we are all safe. Um, at home, while we're doing our distance learning, the same kind of rules apply. So if you are being respectful, that means that you are, when we're on a Zoom call, you can press your mute button until Mrs. Ross tells you to take your mute button off. And while your mute button is on, that allows all of our friends to have a chance to be heard. And it allows all of us to hear the teacher. Um, you'll learn how to mute and unmute so that when it's your turn to talk, you get that opportunity. Uh, we'll be in small groups, so it will be easier for us to do our talking um, and for everybody to be heard and have, have time. Um, you also, being responsible, um, when we are home and doing our distance learning, that's gonna mean that there will be certain supplies that I send home at the beginning of the year that you will be asked to have on a daily basis so that we can do our learning. Sometimes our learning will be with um, pencil and crayon and paper, and sometimes our learning will be with um, manipulatives, things that we touch and we move, and sometimes our learning will be, I will ask you to do some kind of uh, get up out of your chair and do some moving and some singing and dancing with me. And whatever I ask you to do, being a responsible student means you give it your best. Mrs. Ross is not a great singer. Don't really sing very well, but I am going to sing to you. And you're going to have to sing with me because it's, it's a little embarrassing to sing when it's just me and all of you out there because you can really hear me good then. So you'll have to help me out with that. And being safe means that we follow whatever the rules are um, for our Zoom that day. And I may ask you to, um, to, I don't know, I may ask you to stand up and do a little dance with me and you'll wanna make sure that you're not bumping into anything at your house. Um, if the dance asks us to jump, you'll wanna make sure you're jumping on the floor and not um, off of furniture or anything that's not safe. We want your mommies and daddies to be able to do their jobs while you're doing yours. So those are some of the things that we need to talk about, about how room five works. And when we get closer to time for us to come back into the classroom, I'm gonna take you into the room and show you all around. As a matter of fact, most of my teaching will be done from the classroom. So you will get to see our classroom and become familiar with it, even though you won't be there at the beginning. But I hope you will be there super soon.